Hey what's up guys, my name is Charlie, today we're going to be watching some Angry Video Game Nerd. This is going to be episode 154 and it's going to be Star Wars Masters of Taras Kasai. I think that's how you pronounce it, for the PlayStation 1. So uh, let's check this video out, shall we? Let's go. Star Wars video games come in almost every genre. First-person shooters, 2D platformers, 3D platformers, mm. first-person shooters mixed with 3D platforming, action-adventure, racing, flight simulators, even vehicular combat. However, one genre seems to be almost non-existent fighting games. Mm. It's a no-brainer. Star Wars has such a huge cast of characters, they can make an awesome fighting game like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. So where are they? Well, I found a few. Some games featured fighting modes as a bonus. On the Wii, there were Star Wars lightsaber battles, which was a one-on-one -on -one fighter, but that came out in 2008, which was much later than the fighting game craze. Yoda and Darth Vader were also playable characters in Soul Calibur, which makes no sense. <laughs> but we're talking real fighters. Why didn't Star Wars do that? The answer is they did. And they fucked it up. Oh, Star Wars, Master of Terrace, Terrace Cass Terra Tetris crazy? Yeah, Terra's Kase? <laughs> Why don't you just call it Star Wars Tournament Fighter? Yeah. It worked for Ninja Turtles and Full House. That was a good one. So the game starts in usual Star Wars fashion with the text crawling in space. Wait, a Master of Terra's Kasai? I thought the game was called Masters of Terra's Kasai. Not even the game can say its own title. After the stunning defeat and the loss of the Death Star handed to the Galactic Empire, the Emperor demands drastic measures for a swift retribution against the Rebel Alliance. The Emperor calls upon the services of a mysterious young woman, Arden Lin, wise in the ways of an ancient and almost forgotten fighting art known as Terras Kasai. Okay, so what is Terras Kasai? It's gotta be one of those expanded universe type of things. So what do we do when we need to look up something in Star Wars? The Star Wars Encyclopedia. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Jizz? A popular style of freeform wailing music? Jizz. Yeah, there is jizz in this book. Huh. Oh, jizz Whaler? A musician <laughs> who plays a fast, contemporary, and upbeat style of music. Jizz Whaler. <laughs> it's in Star Wars. Anyway, Terrace Kasai, a form of hand-to-hand -hand combat roughly translated into steel hands that is taught in the Pecanth Reach. So let me get this straight. The Death Star blows up and the Emperor's backup plan is to replace a space station with enough firepower to destroy a planet with someone who can fight with their bare hands. Sorry, steel hands, which is basically the same idea as Tekken, which means iron fist in Japan. Mm. All right, I guess I'll pick Arden Lin since she's the only one I know who's a master of Terrace Kasai. <laughs> All right, get ready to eat my fist. <laughs> What? I thought this was gonna be hand-to-hand -hand combat. What's this bantha shit? <laughs> Luke has his lightsaber, Han has a gun, Leia has a stick thing. They all have fucking weapons, except Arden Lin. I don't get it. What's the point of wanting to be a master of steel fists if everyone's just gonna use blasters and shit? It makes no sense. Also, how are half of these people supposed to go up against a lightsaber? Oh, <laughs> never mind. The lightsabers in this game are useless. They're more like light batons. <laughs> they don't cut through shit. Could you imagine if lightsabers were this ineffective in the movies? Picture Chewbacca running around the Death Star and then he bumps into Darth Vader. Vader ignites his lightsaber and goes for the killing blow but then it bounces off him like a wiffle ball bat. <laughs> so long, Vader. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Let's see if the ancient fighting style of Terras Kasai can help me. Let's try some of these moves. We'll start with the Terras Kasai chain starter. Forward, forward, circle, triangle, square, triangle. What the fuck? It's not working. You gotta be shitting me. The odds of pulling off a special move are 3,720 to one, but the computer will do it every single time. Fuck this, I'm trying a new character. Okay, we have the usual cast of characters here. Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, 
There's even a Gamorrean guard named Thok. That's a stupid name. Oh, look, a Tuscan Raider. Wonder what this guy's name is. Oh my Whore? god. Whore? Whore? Really? Whore? Uh. Suddenly names like Jar Jar Binks and Plo Kloon sound awesome. <laughs> Fucking whore. I, I can come up with a better character. How about an Ithorian with a chainsaw named Fox? <laughs> What more can I say about this game? It's awful. The premise is dumb, the controls are slow and rarely work, the characters aren't balanced at all, some are way stronger than others. Half the time I win because my enemy accidentally rolls off the stage. I swear, I get more victories with ring outs than I do anything else. I can see why Star Wars doesn't bother with fighting games. Their first outing was an embarrassment. The combo system barely works, and if you really try at it, you get the Kasai kicked out of your tear ass. I still think the idea of a Star Wars fighting game could have been great, but too bad they were just jerking off. <laughs> Masters of Terrace Kasai. More like masturbators of Terrace Kasai. Wow. So, after a lot of button mashing, luck, and hatred for myself, I get to the final boss, Darth Vader. And let me tell you, this motherfucker makes Shang Tsung and M. Bison look like pussies. <laughs> His moves are overpowered, and he just fucks you up. Oh, but we can't end this way. I, got, I gotta win. To beat Darth Vader, I have to take some extreme measures. I have to go back to the past. Oh my god. How do you like that shit, Anakin? Die! Die! <laughs> you win. Wow. I know that's cheap, but so is this Masters of Terrace Kasai game. You know, it can't get any worse than that. You... Oh, a package from Disney and Lucasfilm. A special edition? What did they change? They pointlessly shoved characters from later movies into the game. Now you can play as Kylo Ren and BB-8. They made changes to the locations, too. Now, when you play on Tatooine, the ring is surrounded by Banthas. On Hoth, a Wampa takes up the whole screen and roars while you're trying to fight. Remember fighting in the Rancor Pit? Well, now, half the screen is cut off so you can see the Max Rebo band playing in the palace. <laughs> huh, that's weird. I'm trying to play as Han Solo, but it isn't letting me do any attacks. Oh, I get it. Now, when you play as Han, you can only defend yourself after getting hit first. Now, every explosion in the game has an added shockwave. Before, when you unlocked the Stormtrooper, he was just called Stormtrooper. Now, he has a full name, Davin Felth. They changed Boba Fett's voice to the actor who played Jango Fett. Oi, crikey! <laughs> and at last, when Darth Vader falls out the ring, he makes a sound. Yeah, well, if they actually made that game, it would be better than the real version. The real version, it's so bad, it tainted the legacy of LucasArts, and it tainted my soul! What? What? Why is it just bouncing off? <laughs> ah! <laughs> wow. That was a very interesting episode. I gotta say, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've played a lot of Star Wars games. I remember the Star Wars Nintendo 64 game, that uh, racer game that's uh, shown in the video. That was totally awesome. Uh, and also the Star Wars PC game. Um, I played that for PC and Xbox uh, original. It was the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic uh, and a couple of other Star Wars games. I think it was the other one was Star Wars, what was it, um, uh, Jedi Academy, uh, Jedi Knight Academy. Uh, that was for the Xbox original as well. So I did play quite a lot of Star Wars games. Um, so yeah, this was uh, very interesting. I didn't know uh, there was like a uh, that sort of style of uh, Star Wars. That was uh, really really interesting but i mean they've done every other type of star wars category there'll probably be star wars football 
or Star Wars Rugby soon with Darth Vader, you know, wrestling other characters, Stormtroopers and stuff, <laughs> or Luke Skywalker. You know, it just it's just going to get crazy. Um, so yeah, that was uh, the end of the video. If you liked this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. <laughs>